In this demonstration, you're going to learn how to generate a histogram and view field statistics for a column in your attribute table. So as you can see, I already have the delinquent parcels attribute table open, and uh, we're going to focus in on this land value field. If you right-click on the field, there's a statistics option. And if you click that option, what it's going to do is it's going to generate a chart. Uh, and you can see that the chart has been added to the contents pane under delinquent parcels. Right? Anytime you create a chart in ArcGIS Pro, uh, the chart will always be associated with uh, a layer or table uh, that you're working with. All right, so at this point, then, uh, the chart's been created. And uh, this is just, uh, just a simple histogram that shows you the distribution of uh, values in that land value field. So you're going to see a count on the y-axis. And then land value is the field, of course, that we're working with here. Um, and so uh, by default, if you look over the chart properties section, uh, you'll see the mean uh, value for the data has been marked. You can also mark the median as well as the standard deviation. You can also get some summary statistics for this field as well. So it'll give you the count, the min value, max value, sum, number of nulls, and a few other values here as well. Uh, you also have control over the number of bins, right? so you can change the number of bins if you need to higher or lower, depending upon what you need, depending on how you want to view the data. Um, let me kind of expand this a little bit. <clears throat> of course, you can go to the axes. Not, nothing I really need to do here. Um, under general, right, you can give your uh, chart a name. We'll just call this histogram of uh, land value. You can also change the values for the X and Y axis. So uh, we'll change that to land values and we'll just leave count uh, as is. Don't really need a legend title or description here. Uh, but you can see as you're making changes here, they're being updated uh, in your histogram. Now on the, on the uh, chart itself, of course, uh, you can filter your data. Right? You can do a number of different things here. These are kind of beyond the scope of what we're covering in this demonstration. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you uh, how to go about uh, generating a histogram for a field uh, using the table view. And uh, of course, you can also view some field statistics as well. That's it for this time. Thanks for joining me.